Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Monday, December 5th, 2016. Coming at you with a little bit of a heavy heart, and I will let you know why in just a second. First, let me give you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. I will say those of you that do news for a living, I don't know how you do it because unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, we tend to just hear about the worst. And another tragedy has hit involving fire, this time in um, Northern California. There was a warehouse fire that has now left the death, death toll at 36 and probably climbing. They say that only 40% um, of the building has been able to have been searched and that uh, more are, more bodies are likely to be found later. Uh, Trump has named Ben Carson to his cabinet, I believe um, Secretary of Urban Development. Yeah, obviously I don't do this for a living. And uh, a controversial pipeline has been put on hold, and I guess that's a little bit of good news for now. Okay, so let me tell you, I'm going to have my own little mini press conference here about um, East Tennessee. So the fires that ravaged Gatlinburg last week um, are being called a kind of a century fire. This just hasn't happened in over a century. Uh, 14 now dead as a result of the fire. Um, as you know, I went to Dollywood as part of their inaugural group of Dollywood Insiders. And let me just say, um, the smile returns. We had an incredible time at Dollywood. Uh, they reopened on Friday at 2 uh, for the first time since earlier that week. And uh, we're open a full day on Saturday. And it was gorgeous. The lights are beautiful. They have the new parade of many colors. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And we were a little bittersweet about going until we realized just how important Dollywood being open is to that entire community. Dollywood and the Dollywood properties provide so many jobs and are such a big piece of the economic landscape of Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. They are three separate towns, all very closely linked, but you wouldn't even, for good or for bad, you wouldn't know there were any fires just by being in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. Uh, we did not go up to the Gatlinburg area. They're only letting people who live there up there. We didn't had no purpose, so we didn't go. Um, but Dollywood was exquisite. The Dream War Resort, um, I cannot recommend it highly enough. Everyone that goes there is like, why didn't I know about this sooner? Um, so please, if you're considering a getaway, if you're within driving distance, Atlanta, Charlotte, Ohio, Tennessee, South Carolina, an absolute great way to not only celebrate the season with your family, but to really help um, provide needed resources. These people need those jobs and need the tourism dollars. Um, so please consider visiting there. Um, that being said, Dollywood did not open until they had checked to make sure that all of their hosts were accounted for. Um, it's just an incredible story of how they have come together. Um, but there's a family that you may have heard of, Mike Reed. Um, him and his son had traveled down the mountain. He's an employee of Dollywood uh, and um, left his wife and daughters there. Um, they thought they were going to find help and never were able to get back up to, um, to reunite with his daughters and his wife. And their bodies were just found over the weekend. And so I am linking below to um, their site, which is, or their church, which is parkwaychurchofgod.org, where you can donate directly to the Reed family. Or, of course, if you can donate to the My People Fund through the Dollywood Foundation, they have pledged $1,000 per month to anyone that has lost their primary residence. I know that um, this, I mean, it could be, we have no idea how much that's going to be per month, and they have committed to pay that regardless of what is raised. So if you could please help um, by raising money um, through Dollywood Foundation or through the fund at parkwaychurchofgod.org for the Reed family. Anything would be um, greatly appreciated. Of course, I'll keep you updated um, as to any other news that we find out as we go on. Um, there's still a lot to be uncovered there with the fires. And so, like I said, anything else that I find out, I will say they do not need any more physical goods. I had told you last week you could use Amazon Prime or something to donate physical goods. They are fine. Those are actually going to start being redirected to other areas um, because they've met those needs. They just need the funds. People need gift cards. 
They need to buy clothes. They need to buy underwear. They need to buy pillows. Um, they need, they have lost everything. So if you can please donate, um, especially I'm recommending through Dallywood Foundation and the My People Fund, that would be incredible. Okay. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great. And please, um, in the words of Michael himself, go hug your loved ones and forget whatever trivial fights that you have been having and just appreciate each other and make the most of every moment you have together. Bye, friends.